Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace, you have been saved, raised us, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to him. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Know that the Lord is God, he made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Please stand. <laughs>
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. Jesus replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Work generates wealth. Work generates wealth. Ating karanasan ho yan. Hindi ka magtatrabaho, wala kang aanihin, wala kang maaani. If you don't work, you would almost have nothing. Nung ako'y bata pa, naalala ko yung patalasta sa dekada 70s, 1970s. I remember the advertisement on our black and white television. Mag-impok sa banko. Mag-impok sa banko. Save what you have and you save them, bring them to the bank. Well, carefully saving money, you know, can make one comfortable in old age, but never really wealthy. Eh, maliban kung mapamana mo, malaking pera, na pwede kang mamuhay na walang ginagawa. The American businessman, industrialist, and philanthropist, his name is John D. Rockefeller Sr., one of the richest men in modern history, had a net worth in... 1937, when he died, in the millions, 900 million dollars, estimated in 2020 to be 23.5 billion dollars. And when he died in 1937 at the age of 97, one of his associates was asked, Magkano yung iniwan niya? Magkano yung iniwan niya dahil napakayaman? How much did he leave behind? And the associate replied, He left them all. Wala siyang dinala. Wala siyang madala sa kanyang libingan. Should we stop working and earning an income no matter how small? Hindi naman. Our Lord is not saying that being wealthy is wrong. Hindi niya sinabi yun. He isn't saying it is wrong to be materially rich. Hindi niya sinabi yun. Of the 3,757 verses 
in the four Gospels referring to wealth and poverty, only 54 verses of that 3,000 plus verses, only 54 directly refer to Jesus dealing with the economically poor. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Now, the rule of thumb for the proper use of material wealth is this. Napakinggan na siguro natin ito noon. When God blesses you materially, raise not just your standard of living, raise your standard of giving as well. Makakaugnay tayo sa mamang mayaman dito sa talinghagang ikinuwento ng ating Panginoong Jesus na pakinggan natin sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. He is in the agricultural business and he struck an unforeseen bonanza, a record crop. Masaganang masagana yung ani niya. Kaya, meron siyang plano para sa kanyang kinabukasan. He is not a pleasure-seeking individual. He is not sinful. Ah, hindi naman siya nag-file ng certificate of candidacy. Hindi naman siya pumasok sa politika. He did nothing of those sort. He is thinking, simply thinking of an early retirement where he would be very comfortable. So thinking of that, he was simply rejoicing at the idea <clears throat> at the idea that the money he earned, the money he saved, the money he invested, he would be able to have a very comfortable retirement age. Iniisip natin ngayon, kung tayo nagtatrabaho, meron ba tayong retirement plan? Anong gagawin ko pag nag-retire na ako at 60 or 65 or 62? O mag-early retirement ako, anong gagawin ko? Ah, itong gagawin ko. If, you're, if you'll retire late, the money you save will go to nursing your bodily ailment. Di po ba? Kaya, you, put, you save money for medical needs. So what is wrong with this picture in the parable? Wala. There's no, nothing wrong there. But God calls the rich men Fool, you fool. Oy, siraulo ka. Oy, hangal ka. His future is good only for a day. Ang masaklap ay etong katotohanan. The figure of God in the parable tells the rich fool and the things you have prepared, yung pinaghandaan mo, to whom do you think they will belong? Kung, mamamat, kung mamatay ka na, saan papunta yan? Hindi mo yan madadala sa libingan. Dalawang dahilan bakit tinawag ng Diyos dito sa talinghaga na ang mamang ito na mayaman ay hangal. First, because of his self-centered attitude. By the way, he talks. He doesn't talk to God. He doesn't even say a little thank you, Lord. He doesn't talk to other people. He talks only to himself. It is okay to talk to yourself, di ba? It's even okay to answer yourself. But when you ask yourself to repeat what you have said, well, you may have a problem. So centered on his own success, the rich fool is unable to even give thanks to God. Ikalawang dahilan, bakit tinawag ng Diyos? sa ating talinghaga na yung mayamang ito ay hangal. It is because he doesn't appreciate the real purpose of his wealth. Para saan? Kung may matanggap kang pera, malapit na Christmas bonus. Para saan po yan? So when God places money, when He places time, when He places ability into our hands, siyempre, tayo ay nagagalak. Thank you, Lord. And we would say, well, God is really good. But all the time. Good times and more so bad times. We begin planning how we can use this for our benefit. 
but not in an unlimited way. Because too many people spend money they have not earned to buy things they don't need to impress people they do not like. Bigyan natin ng buod yung kwento ng ating Panginoon. At yung katotohanan ito ay hindi po bago o panibago sa atin. Now, we of course keep an eye on our future. Di po ba? We eat healthy. We invest on our dream so that we can live our dream. But the only life we really have is the life we have today. Yung buhay sa kasulukuyan, yun ang buhay natin ngayon. And wise people refuse to postpone living that life because they need to live that life today. Enjoy that life today. It makes no sense to say, Masaya ako kung ako'y graduate. Masaya ako kung makapaghanap ako ng trabaho. Masaya ako kung halimbawa ako'y magre-retiro na. The future is largely out of our control. So we live wisely today. Not tomorrow, today. And then we can be truly rich of life that God gifted us with. Ito ang kwento. Minsan isang araw ay eh, merong mayaman na tatay. Pinasama niya yung anak niyang lalaki. Gagawa sila ng poverty tourism. Magtutour sila sa mga lugar na kung saan nandoon mapapansin yung kahirapan. So this rich dad wanted to show his son how the poor live their lives. They spent the whole day on the farm of a poor family. At nang pawi na sila sa hapon, tinanong ng mayamang tatay yung kanyang anak. Nakita mo ba anak? Gaano kahirap sila? Namumulubi? Ano ang natutunan mo? At sumagot yung anak sa tatay niya, Tay, meron tayong isang aso lang. Bawal kasi sa kondo natin marami. Sila sampo yung aso nila at dumadami pa. Meron na tayong swimming pool, pero sila, meron silang ilog. We have different types of light at night, but there's, their light is sky's the limit, and we also buy food sa kanila. Nagtatanim ng makain, nag-aalaga ng mga hayop na pwede nilang kainin. Meron tayong mga bakod, ligtas nga tayo mula sa krimen mga masasamang elemento sa lipunan but they have friends pinaligiran sila ng maraming mga kaibigan and you see tatay we live in a few square meters of land not even a hectare because we live in the city but they live in a vast tract of land without fences so thanks father thanks dad for showing me how poor we are. Please stand. With unlimited confidence in God's care for us, we open our hearts to our Heavenly Father for the gift of wisdom in order that we may realize what is truly important in life. Our reply, Father, enrich us in your ways. Father, enrich us in your ways. That the Holy Father, our bishops, priests, and religious may continue to make the presence of Christ known in the world through the simplicity of their lifestyles. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father enrich, enrich us, us in, in your, your ways. ways that justice and equality may be promoted through effective political, social, and economic reforms. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father enrich, enrich us in your ways. That we may be sensitive towards the disadvantage and may we learn to share our riches with the poor. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your ways. That those who are sick or suffering may experience the richness of God's presence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father enrich us in your ways. That in your mercy, Lord, grant light, peace, and eternal rest to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, enrich us in your ways. God our Father, we thank you for the abundance of your blessings. Help us to handle responsibly the possessions you have given us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion, for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself, and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full, full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father, in the words our Savior taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay sa inyo po. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Our finest treasure is no other than Jesus himself, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grants, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.